Hey guys, so in the last video we set up our backend to be able to upload a picture and we specifically changed the create listing input to now accept a new uh, field which is picture. It has the type upload. So the first thing we're going to do is in our front end upload or change our mutation to be passing a picture as well. So that's over here in the controller class and source modules create listing and this is where we're calling the mutation so I'm going to add a variable here called picture and that should be a dollar sign and we're going to say upload and I didn't make upload required so I don't have to do a bang sign at the end and then we pass it in here and now we're good and we want to go ahead and build this so I'm going to cd into controller and do yarn build. Now the next thing is we're going to do some changes to the web and we need to install some packages. So to actually be able to upload images or files from the front end we have to use a um, different client than just the default HTTPS client that Apollo uh, has. So we're going to be using this Apollo upload client package and then to get the user to drop in files or to pick files off their computer we're going to be using react drop zone I like to use it because it's really easy you can use a different library or just not use the library at all if you want to do uh, images or files directly you can so we're going to install both of those as well so you want to cd into the web and I've already installed them you're going to run run yarn add apollo upload client and react drop zone and then after that install the types for both of them so like so and then when you have both of those installed we can head over to the Apollo this is where we set up Apollo on the website and we're just going to replace this Apollo link HTTP so instead we're going to be using this create upload link so we can copy that And now here we're going to basically put the same parameters that we are for the um, HTTP link. And then we'll just pass our link in as usual. So really what just changed here is we're using a different link instead of the HTTPS one. And what this guy does is he looks for whenever you use the type upload um, and it correctly uploads images. Um, Alright, that's, that's it for the uh, upload client part now. So next we really just have to create the form field to be able to send up um, an image. So what we're going to do is head over here to shared. This is where we have set up a couple form input fields already. We are going to add a new one called drop zone field dot tsx. And I think this is going to be most like the tag field where we have a custom on change. So I'm going to copy that and paste it into this. Um, we don't really need anything from Ant Design here. And I'm going to call this drop zone field. It's not going to take any parameters right now or extra ones. So we can get rid of that. And we can get rid of that. And we don't need to wrap this a form item and we're not going to worry about error messages with this at least right now because it's just going to be drop zone it's going to be just accepting files now drop zone has a uh, nice documentation right here so I recommend checking this out I'll put a link in the description below because there's a whole bunch of different props that you can pass on to this thing um, to customize it we're just going to be following the basic one so let's copy that Paste that in, and we need to import drop zone. I guess it doesn't have me an import I can copy. Import from drop zone. And I don't know if I need to do star as, oh, lowercase d, there we go. Alright, so 
on drop is the function that happens whenever someone actually uploads an image. So it's going to have the files. So these files are going to be whatever the user actually added and it does not have a construct or call signatures. So it doesn't look like it likes this. There we go. Now I'm importing it correctly. So it's possible that the user uploads multiple files. For this, we don't really uh, want multiple files. So there's a prop. We can say multiple is false. And then we also don't want just any um, files. We want to accept specific ones. So there's a prop to call accept. And I can say, I believe it's images. And I can do a star. I think they have an example. Images slash might be image slash okay yeah it's image slash could be jpeg png so we do not want an s at the end so here I'm accepting um, pretty much anything that's an image we could also just be a little bit more picky I don't know if there's other images there probably are um, here I'm accepting only jpeg and png which I guess we'll keep for now but anyway so here is the file so this is an array of files um, if you hover over it, you can actually see the type is an array of image files. So I'm going to destructure this and just get the first file because that's really all I care about. And we said they can't upload multiple. And here we're just going to say set field value. And this is going to be field.name. And I'm just going to actually destructure that and get the name. So I'm going to say name and then the value, which is going to be the file. And, it's, and that's pretty much it for this. So we're actually not using a whole bunch of formic props here. We probably do want to do dot 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 props um, and still pass it into drop zone in case we want to take any pro extra props um, and pass it to drop zone. In this case, we won't. But basically, all we're doing here is whenever a file is dropped in, we, upload, we update the value. Um, and set the field value and the name that was the user passed in. So let's go change our form now. So listing create. First thing I'm going to set a new form value that we have now called picture. And this is an image file as we saw earlier. And then we're importing image file from React drop zone. I'm just going to put the import up here with the absolute imports. And I'm going to say image file is either um, null or just an image file. So now in our initial values, I'm going to say the picture is null. And all right, that looks good. So now let's go ahead and just render that field. So I guess I'll render this on the first one. So this is going to be named picture. I uh, don't have a placeholder, and this is going to be a drop zone um, field. Now what I'm going to do is come back over here, and I'm going to say values. I'm going to say console.log.log dot .log values or. The uh, reason why I'm doing this is because I want to see what the values are every time. So I can see if the picture is correctly getting added um, like I think it should be. And this is just a little trick here. So it both logs it and then it also renders all this stuff. So the or means this will be false. So it'll be false or. And so that's just whatever this is. All right, let's see if the server is good. Nope, it needs to be restarted. All right, so we can see our drop zone element right here. And we can click on the console here and we can see the picture is currently null. Now I can click on this and I can upload, for example, picture here. And we can see now the picture actually has some stuff. And the cool thing about React Drop Zone is it automatically creates a preview for you. So if you wanted to, you could also display um, a preview of this. Um, so if we wanted to, we could add that in. Now, we're just going to have to basically pass down the picture value here. So I guess I want to render this on uh, page one. 
So I would want to pass a prop to the to page one over here. So we don't really have this set up very well right now to be able to render the, the value on one of the pages. So just for demonstration purposes, we'll render it here. So I guess let's do it right here. So I'm gonna do it at the bottom of this pages. I'm gonna say image source and it's gonna be equal to values.picture.preview. Now picture can sometimes be null. So I'm gonna say values.picture and so this is, it's not gonna render this image unless the picture is an actual value and then we're gonna get the preview from that. All right, so now when I upload that, we should see a Timo image pop up. Nice, so we can see this. But we don't actually want this, and I'm not gonna actually include this in my form. You could if you wanted to make it nice. Um, but that just shows you how you can add a little preview to your form. And let's actually try uploading this. Now, right now I have the playground up, so we can see if this actually uploads correctly. So I'm going to just do show the ID or just the name and the picture URL. So here are currently all the listings. None of them have picture URLs. So when I upload this guy right here, um, hopefully it will have one if we set up everything correctly. So we're gonna say next page, next page, create listing. See what the response is from the server. It says true. Come over to your playground, I can fetch again. And we can see the shore ID here at the bottom. So it looks like the shore ID was a little bit longer than I thought it was, but that's still fine. Uh, and this is our, our guy. So let's see, um, in our folder structure over here, we should also have in our images folder, and we do. So here is, so I can't actually render this because um, I'm in Visual Studio Code, but we can see here's our image right here. So awesome. So we were able to successfully upload an image to our backend and we can also have the picture URL stored. So now I can look up that picture um, by the name here. So that's it for this video guys, thanks for watching.